Yes, welcome once again. This is uh, Sammy Wilberforce with Ramsam Homestead. Uh, from the garden to the table. And uh, last uh, week uh, we were able to visit uh, some widow in Rapogia Wendo so that uh, we may fulfill her dream of having her own uh, uh, produce and eating what uh, she knows how has been grown. And so we went to set up uh, the story gardens. The place is really uh, not uh, a good place per se. It is uh, a land filled with stones and we thought, what can we do um, to spread the third angel's message of Isaiah chapter 58? And so we went there with uh, my friends, uh, Sammy Litunda and uh, Elder Fanuel, and we were able to set up some four gardens for the mother and uh, welcome and see how the work was done. Okay, so here we are once again and uh, due to the place being rocky, you can see that uh, we decided uh, to put uh, a nylon paper beneath so that we may not lose our water and uh, our soil to the rocks that uh, are so prevalent in this um, uh, place. And so we, we bought a paper and on each layer we were able to put uh, the paper within, uh, beneath so that um, we, we may have that uh, nutrients not being lost and uh, our moisture being uh, retained and contained within uh, our story garden. Uh, this is something new. We have uh, never done it, but uh, uh, it just clicked to our mind that uh, we have to do something in this nature so that uh, uh, things may work out uh, so well. Also, we can't complain uh, much because of the place because the rocks themselves were able to substitute for the places that we needed soil much. And uh, so you can see us doing our first uh, layer and uh, arranging the rocks uh, within the, the story garden to hold firmly the, 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 the HDP trash, uh, trough sheet paper. And not only that, um, uh, we were able to collect uh, uh, a lot of stones. There are some little stones so that um, because there's not enough soil here and we had bought some soil, it may help supplement where we had the scarcity. And so the rocks are put um, uh, just to hold the paper and also in the middle of uh, the story gardens where we put soil, we put some rocks. You can see that so that uh, we may be able to not be burdened by um, having to buy more and more soil. And so you can see uh, our story garden is coming up uh, and the work is going on. But uh, allow me to share one thing. This was one of uh, the most uh, hardest place to work on. Uh, you can see how the place is uh, sloppy and uh, the, uh, the pickup of the tractor was not able to bring the soil up. So we poured the soil and the manure downward the hill, the slope, so that uh, we may carry it um, uh, at the top. We, we were just carrying it with the buckets and the sacks to the place where we were making the garden. And um, uh, appreciate if you have a place where you can work on easily we, without uh, uh, much problem because there are people who are living in places where actually it's not an easy place to work with or to work on. But the Lord has enabled us and uh, we were able to just uh, have some two young men help us to ferry this soil from down the slope to the place where we were working and so we appreciate much and uh, we continue praying that uh, the lord may provide funds so that uh, the place may be cleared of stones so that even the other part of the garden may be worked on and uh, there may be a good produce a good harvest and uh, the widow and uh, her two um, our children may be able to get food without uh, much of problem. Yes, you, you can see that our story gardens are coming up so well. That is the first story garden. 
and then uh, we have our next uh, story garden being worked on and uh, I can tell you that uh, it is an adventure you can just uh, enjoy it uh, we started late and so you see that the sun is going down but uh, we are not giving up on this work there you have it uh, complete and uh, coming up and looking so nice we start working on the third one and uh, the darkness is now dawning on us and we are measuring the fourth one because uh, uh, the sun is closing on down on us so rapidly. By the time that uh, we start working on our fourth garden, it's already night time and we have to use the, the light to be able to work on the fourth garden because uh, next day we had to be traveling back home. We had been away for um, uh, three days doing this work of Isaiah chapter 58. And so we thought that uh, if it is even working till late, we will do it until late, until this work is finished. But uh, it was an uh, enjoyable work to be involved in. So there you have your work. By 10 p.m. in the night, we had finished it. We started at around 11 in the morning. And uh, by 10, we had uh, finished the work. And uh, we just uh, thank the Lord for how the work came out. It was so nice done and uh, I pray that the Lord may continue blessing us and the Lord may continue blessing the works of our hands as we try to do the work of Isaiah chapter 58 there's no other important work that the Lord has given us than that work of Isaiah chapter 58 and how I pray that um, everyone of us will continue embracing this work and do something in their community do something for the people of God wherever they are in and here there are uh, the, uh, the, the gardens taken in the morning we had left and so we were sent the pictures. They may not be clear but uh, that is how they look uh, in the morning. Yet uh, I wouldn't close this video without highlighting another problem. And uh, that is uh, the problem of the water in the place. This uh, uh, woman has uh, a problem of the water. The water is uh, three kilometers away and uh, it is not good water. You can't really drink of the water without boiling it. And sometimes there can be a problem of getting firewood or um, the gas to do the boiling of the water. Thank God that uh, we had gone with uh, my motorbike and as we were making the gardens, we were able to uh, bring in some water that was used to make the gardens otherwise it could have been so expensive we used to go uh, three kilometers away to get the water that is the water that they use in their home uh, for normal household work also some people boil it and uh, drink of it but uh, there is another place they can get the water for drinking it is uh, in somebody's homestead not also near our plea is this, that um, if you are touched with the Lord, if you see it necessary that you may help in the work of Isaiah chapter 58, please, we want to buy a water tank for this um, mama so that um, she may harvest the rainwater and uh, use it during uh, the dry season. I want to remind you and tell you of something that I hadn't tell, told you uh, uh, from the beginning that uh, the woman is blind and uh, she is living with her daughter there is uh, a young girl of around six to seven years who cannot do a lot the mama is blind and also the young uh, girl Velma has uh, a problem with uh, her eyes the elder brother is in some other town trying to make uh, both ends meet, working here and there and providing for the family. So help us to be able to bring water to this mama uh, at her doorstep by buying a tank which the, they can collect the rainwater during the rain season. And then during the dry season, they don't have to go to the river to get the water to water the, 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 the storage gardens. They don't have to go to the river to 
bring the water for the home use and, and drinking. And I know that uh, the Lord will bless us. If we can get even 6,000 liters of uh, water tank or 10,000 liters, well and good. And we are projecting this to take us around um, uh, 70,000 Kenyan shillings. That is uh, around 700 US dollars to be able to bring the tank and do the the uh, the, the piping so that um, the water may be harvested there the putting up of um, the water collector so that the water may be collected into the tank and then you have your 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 pipe to water the the gardens and so i believe that uh, the lord will make it possible and i believe that the lord will use you and me to be able to do the work that uh, he has purposed to use us to do it this uh, current help came from uh, our sister uh, Kaldita sound us from the USA and uh, it's amazing how God uh, touches the hearts of the people. Uh, we had never known each other, she had never known us, but uh, when we put up the story gardens on YouTube, she was able to see them and uh, ask if there is anyone whom we can help that is needy and that is how we came to be able to help uh, this uh, woman. And so God bless you, Sister Kaldita Saunders and your family and your husband for taking up that initiative of trusting the strangers with your money so that uh, uh, a child of God may be helped in one way or another. And so I'm looking forward for others who will be touched with this story and be able to help up with the, the water tank issue. Otherwise, the Lord bless us. This is uh, Rem Sam Homestead from the garden to the table and i know that uh, your health is your treasure and so treasure your health thank you and goodbye